वेलकम टू के टेक हाई स्कूल एंड जूनियर कॉलेज एज यू ऑल नो चिल्ड्रेन वी हैव फिनिश्ड विद लेसन नंबर सिक्स कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ मैटर सो लेट्स डिस्कस एक्सरसाइज क्वेश्चन नंबर वन चूज द अप्रोप्रिएट ऑप्शन एंड री राइट द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट द इंटरमोलिकुलर फोर्स इज डैश इन द पार्टिकल्स ऑफ द सॉलिड from the option the answer is maximum solids retain their volume even when the external pressure is applied this property is called dash incompressibility matter is classified into types mixture compounds and elements by applying the criterion dash the answer is states of matter from the following options matter that contains two or more constituent substances is called compound e milk is an example of types of matter called homogeneous mixture water mercury and bromine are similar to each other because these three are liquids valency of carbon is 4 and that of oxygen is 2 from this we can understand that there are dash chemical bonds between carbon atom and one oxygen atom in the compounds carbon dioxide the answer is 2 from the given options understood question number 2 identify the odd term out and explain gold silver copper brass answer is brass is odd one because it is an alloy and gold silver copper are elements hydrogen hydrogen peroxide carbon dioxide water vapor hydrogen is the odd one out because it is an elements and others are compound c lemon juice milk carbon steel carbon is the odd one out because it is an element and others are mixtures of various element d water mercury bromine petrol water is the odd one out because it is the universal solvent and rest are not the universal solvent understood sugar salt baking soda blue vitriol answer is baking soda is the odd one because it is a mixture of various elements and others are compound f hydrogen sodium potassium carbon carbon is the odd one out because it has four valence electrons and others have one valence electron now question number 3 answer the following questions a plants synthesize glucose in sunlight with the help of chlorophyll from carbon dioxide and water and give away oxygen identify the four compounds in this process and name their types so the answer is given here in detail children please write it correctly okay b in one sample of brass the following ingredients were found copper 70% and zinc 30% identify the solvent solute and solution from these so please children write the answer correctly which is being given here the next c sea water tastes salty due to the dissolved salt the salinity means the proportion of salt in water of some water bodies like lonar lake is 7.9% Pacific Ocean three point five percent, Mediterranean Sea three point eight percent, 
Dead Sea 33.7 percent. Explain two characteristics of mixture from the above information. So the answer is given. Please note it correctly, children. Okay. Next we have question number four. Give two examples of each. Liquid element. Mercury, bromine. Gaseous element. Oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen. Solid elements. Sodium, carbon, aluminium. Homogeneous mixture. Sugar in water, corn oil, blood plasma. Colloid, mayonnaise, milk, butter, gelatin, jelly, muddy water. Organic compounds. We have proteins, glucose, urea, carbohydrates. Complex compound. Answer is chlorophyll, hemoglobin, cyanocobalamin. Inorganic compounds. Answer is limestone, rust, common salt. Metalloid. Answer is silicon, germanium. Elements with valency 1. Sodium, potassium, chlorine. And elements with valency 2. The answer is magnesium, calcium. Okay, now the next question number 5. Write the names and symbols of the constituent elements and identify their valencies from the molecular formulae given below. Some compounds have been given. You need to write their symbols and valency. The first one is KCl. Potassium symbol is K with valency 1. Chlorine. Symbol is Cl and valency is 1. Similarly, we, you need to write the rest which is given here. Next compound is NaH. Sodium. Symbol is Na with valency 1. Hydrogen. Symbol is H and the valency is 1. The rest you have to write it as shown here. Write it correctly, children. I will read one more for you. Compound H2S. The name as R. Hydrogen. Symbol H with valency 1. Sulfur. Symbol S. And the valency is 2. Now, children, copy correctly the symbols and valencies. Okay? Don't make a mistake. Question number 6. Chemical composition of some matter is given in the following table. Identify the main type of matter from there. Now the table of three columns. Name of matter, chemical composition and main type of matter is shown here. Some compounds are given. You need to write the chemical composition. For example, seawater, H2O, NaCl, MgCl2. And the type of matter it is a mixture. Similarly, you need to write the rest. I will read one more for you. The gas in oxygen cylinder. C4H10 plus C3H8. So it is a element. Same thing you have to write with bronze, diamond, heated white powder of blue vitriol, limestone, Dilute hydrochloric acid. Okay, children. Question number seven. Write scientific reason. A. Hydrogen is combustible. Oxygen helps combustion. But water helps to extinguish fire. Write the answer correctly to this question. Which is given here. B. Constituent substances of a colloid cannot be separated by ordinary filtration. You must be doing this. So, write the answer correctly which is shown on the screen. Don't make a mistake, children. C. Lemon sherbet has sweet, sour and salty taste and it can be poured in a glass. So, the answer is also given here. Please note it down. 
D. A solid matter has the property of definite shape and volume. So, the answer to this question is also given. Please note it down correctly, children. Question number 8. Deduce the molecular formulae of the compound obtained from the following pairs of element by cross multiplication method. So children, here the valencies of some elements are given. You, are, you must be doing the cross multiplication method. You need to write the chemical formula. Sorry, molecular formula. The same, some more examples are given of carbon and oxygen, calcium and oxygen. With the cross multiplication method, you need to find out the molecular formula. I hope all these notes is useful for you. Please write it down in your science CW book and maintain the notes properly children. So children, with this we have finished with our lesson number 6, Composition of Matter. We have discussed all the questions with the answers. So we see you soon in the next session with a new lesson. Thank you dear children. Take care.